Hey everybody, in this video we are looking at how to treat the horizontal canal vertigo or BPPV. So I've got some previous videos about what BPPV is or vertigo, that sensation of spinning. And then um, before you watch this one, you're going to watch want to watch the one I did about the Dix Hall Pike. So if you look for that one, that shows you how to test if it's your left ear and your right ear. So if you've watched that one, one of the main points I made was if you do test the left side or right side and one of the sides is positive, um, you should get the sensation of vertigo. And if you have someone watching your eyeball for you it should look like your eyeballs are kind of turning and like twitching to the side like that we call that a torsional nystagmus um, so if you have that the epley should really help you if you have more of a side to side beating nystagmus like that this won't help you so don't do it that's a different type look for a different video I'm gonna make here soon about horizontal canal vertigo so again if you've got it positive Dix Hall Pike on one side hopefully it's just the one side this is how you're gonna treat it so in this video I'm gonna show you the right side so again if we started basically with that Dix Hall Pike again that's the starting position for the Epley and so if I had a positive response on the right uh, what I would have done to test that is I would have turned my head to the right and turned it back and dropped backwards so that's how you're gonna start the Epley so same thing we're treating the right so I'm gonna turn my head to the right tip it back and I'm gonna fall backwards go like that so that's my starting position sorry I'll, I'll do the next so things to watch again someone's hopefully helping you and then as you go to the right they should see you should feel the vertigo feel the sensation of spinning and they should see your eyes moving you want to wait until both of those two things stop before you do the next position so wait until the room stops moving and then wait until your eyes stop moving if that takes 20 seconds 30 seconds whatever that's what you that's how long then you want to hold each of the next positions so starting position is just like I said to the right next position I just turn my head all the way to the left and again if it took me 30 seconds to clear on the right I'm gonna wait 30 seconds on the left this next roll usually have people bend their knees up and then I'm gonna roll onto my left side keeping my head turned to the left so I end up looking at the floor that transition there between laying on my back and laying on my side usually gets people spinning again. So I usually tell them, hold on to the table. I'll put my hands on them just to let them know that they're not moving. Again, wait for it to stop or wait as long as you do on that first turn or the first position. And then from there to finish them off. So again, they're here. Sit up to the side and sit up like that. So again, we call that the Epley. And usually that'll help out quite a bit with that posterior canal. What you want to do next then is wait a minute or two, kind of get your bearings, get a drink of water. Um, hopefully you got a trash can nearby. Hopefully you won't need it, but it's there if you need it. And then you want to just test the Dix Hall Pike again. So go back to that starting position, turn to the right, tip your head back, fall back. And then with any luck, it'll be gone. With most people that I see, it's not necessarily 100% gone, but it's greatly reduced. So not as much vertigo. Um, if the eyeballs are still kind of twisting, it doesn't last as long. So maybe it was 30 seconds the first time. Second time, it's only 10. So go through the whole thing again with the Epley. Usually I'll do it two to three times in the clinic just to be safe, because then if you can clear all of it, then good, you got it. And then the next thing that's important too is that for the next couple days or so, you just want to avoid any positions that might take those crystals, which you've moved back to where they belong, you want them to stick there. So avoid any positions that might cause them to become dislodged again. So avoid like tipping your head forward, tipping your head back, any real sudden movements, rolling over in bed, things like that. Usually I recommend people sleep a little bit propped up for a couple days. Um, so again, that's the Epley Maneuver. That's for treating those posterior canal, BPPV, which is a positive test off the Diggs Hall Pike. A lot of mumbo jumbo, sorry about that, but hopefully <laughs> if you're still with me. And again, if you notice your eyes are ticking sideways like that, it's much different, you, that won't help you. May make you worse, but it won't help you. So um, I've got more videos coming on that with horizontal canal. So I hope that helps. Leave me a comment if you have questions. Thanks.